Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do problem number 186. Problem, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. We're going to actually do two problems, two very similar problems, hence 186A and 186B. Let's read the problem. It says A takes three hours more than does B to walk 30 kilometers. They're both going to walk 30 kilometers and apparently Mr. A is a little slower and he takes three hours longer. We are further told that if, on the other hand, if he, he were to double his speed, if he doubles his pace, if he doubles his pace, he takes two hours less than B. The question is very straightforward, very simple. The question simply is, what are their speeds? If you want to give it a try yourself first, go ahead and do it, pause the video, solve it yourself and then compare your work as always against the work that you and I will do together in, in a few seconds time. I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Voilà, let's get going. So what do we know? We know that A takes three hours more than does B. So somehow if we can define if we can define the amount of time that B does, if we can give it a definition, if we can define that variable, then we know that A is going to take three hours more than that. So let's do that. Let's do that. Here's our solution. Let, let X be the number of hours, number of hours B takes. If B takes X hours, if B takes X hours to walk 30 kilometers, then that implies that that implies that A must take A must take X plus three hours because we are told he takes three hours more. A, A must take X plus A must take X plus three hours. Now we can figure out their respective speeds. Speed of A S for speed and subscript A for A. The speed of A is very simple. We know that they're going to both walk 30 kilometers. So we have 30 kilometers and A, we just established, is going to take X plus 3, X plus 3 hours. X plus 3 hours. So here's our kilometers on the top and here's our hour, that's your speed, kilometers per hour, that's the speed of A. Similarly, the speed of B is very straightforward. B is also going to go 30 kilometers, but he takes only X hours. He takes only X hours. Now what happens when A doubles his pace? Let's find out. When A doubles his pace, when A doubles his pace, we are told that he takes two hours less. He takes two hours less and we're going to make use of all of this thing in other words if he doubles his pace if he doubles his pace that implies that the s s is new speed let's put down superscript new speed of a new speed is simply going to be the old speed which is 30 over x plus 3 but he doubles his speed so it's going to be times 2 you with me so far this is new speed He's still traveling 30 kilometers, but how long does it take? He takes, he takes two hours less. So the other guy is taking X hours, he's going to take X minus two hours. We're almost there. We have the speed, we have the time. We can figure out the distance, which we know is 30 kilometers. So 30 kilometers, let's, let's, let's pick up from the top here so that we can, we're going to continue this part. So we have the speed, we have the time, and we know the distance. We can use those three pieces of information and come up the equation and solve for x, which is what we're looking for. We're looking for the number of hours that b takes. Once we know how many hours b takes, we can figure out the respective speed very easily. Let's pick up from the top. Oh, that did not come out very nicely, did it? I shouldn't have done it like that. Let's go back in. Ah, oh, it's not going to improve the situation. Okay, let's pick up speed. So, 30 kilometers. We're going to pick this. We're going to pick up from here. 
So 30 kilometers that they are walking has to equal, we know the 30 kilometers that they are walking has to equal the speed, which is this right here, because this on the top is the, uh, the speed, which is which is 30 times 2, 30 times 2 over x plus 3 times the hours, which is x minus 2. Because you see, that this is the distance here, the distance, I shouldn't, I shouldn't put a unit here because there are no units written here. So 30 kilometers, that's what that is, 30, which is our distance, has to equal the speed times the time. Which makes perfect sense. Which makes perfect sense because if I'm going, for example, for example, if I come up to you and tell you that I'm going at 20 kilometers per hour and I travel for five hours, how far do you suppose I will go in five hours at 20 kilometers per hour? I will go 100 kilometers. How do we find that? Simply multiply the speed by the number of hours that you're taking, number of time that you spend on that speed. So five hours times 20 kilometers per hour will give me 100 kilometers. Same thing is going on here. Here's the 30 kilometers. This is the new speed and that's the amount of time he's taking two hours less. Now we're going to solve this equation that you see there for x. That's all it is. Let's do it. I'm going to raise all of this thing because we're running out of room here. Okay, watch what happens. So cross multiply 30 times. Oh, first of all, before we cross multiply, let's make our life even simpler. We see 30 on this side, we see 30 on that side. Let's divide both sides of the equation by 30. So what we end up here is 1. And now, and now cross multiply. 1 times x plus 1 is simply x plus 1. 1 times x plus 3 rather is simply x plus 3 and on this time on this side we have 2 times x minus 2 that's all there is that's how simple it is 2 times x is 2x and 2 times minus 2 will be minus 4 and here we have x plus 3 bring x to that side 2x minus x will be x and bring 4 to this side that will be 7 that's it voila what does x represent? X, x represents the number of hours. If you remember, x represents, x represents, I can't write it, x represents the number of hours b takes to travel, to travel 30 kilometer that's what x was that's how that's how we define x if you remember when we set it up we def we, see we said that x let x be the number of hours b takes to travel 30 kilometers and we just found out that that's 7 so if x is taking so if b is taking 7 hours we were told that a takes 3 hours more if a if b takes 7 hours what can we continue let's do it let's continue here If B takes 7 hours, that implies that A must take 7 plus 3 hours. Now we can figure out their speed. They were asking for what the speeds are. The speed of A is simply 30 kilometers is what is going. And his speed we just found out. And, and we know that he's taking 10 hours. 10 hours. Well, there you have it. 30 kilometers in 10 hours is going 3 kilometers per hour. It's going 3 kilometers per hour. Let's do the speed of B. I'm really going at too much of a leisurely pace. I don't know what's wrong with me. Let's do the B. B is same thing. He's going the same distance, 30 kilometers. And how, how long does it take? He takes only 7 hours. He takes only 7 hours. Which is the same as at 28 over 7 plus 2 over 7 which is 4 and 2 cent to 2 seventh miles per hour. I don't know where miles came from, we were dealing with kilometers. There we go. That's his speed. The speed of B is 4 and 2 seventh. 4 and 2 7 km per hour. I know it's not a nice round number, but that's what it works out to be, unfortunately. Whereas the speed of A turned out to be nicely a uh, nice round number of 3 km per hour. The slower guy is going 3 km per hour, the faster guy is going 4 and 2 7 km per hour. 
what we're going to do now is I'm going to give you another problem, very similar problem, and you're going to do it yourself first. Okay? Here we go on the top. Nothing is going to change. Same logic, same rationale, same methodology, same everything. Just the numbers are going to change. Here we go. This is 186B. A takes two hours less than B to walk 24 kilometers. But we are told, but if A but if A bikes, if he decides to ride his bicycle instead of walking, instead of walking, he can go, we are told, he can go, he can go thrice his walking speed and finish you can go twice his walking speed and finish the journey in quarter of the time quarter of the amount of time that B takes. There you go. It will be a nice, nice uh, exercise to see if you can handle it yourself. One more time, I'm going to read it to you, and then I'm going to give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video and do the problem yourself. It says A takes A takes two hours less than B to walk 24 kilometers. Very similar to the one we just finished, where it was some hours more, here is two hours less. But we are told, but if he bikes, instead of walking, he can go thrice his walking speed, thrice. We know what thrice means, we have learned the word thrice in our vocabulary lesson, which is a very fancy way of saying three times as much. So if he bikes, instead of walking, he can go three times as fast, three times thrice his walking speed. And in that case, he can finish the journey, we are told, in the quarter of the amount of time that B takes. The question simply is, what are their speeds? What are their speeds? Same as before, no, no difference. Here we go, I'm going to give you now unobstructed view for five seconds and then we'll do it together. All right, this time, with this time we're not going to go at a leisurely pace, we're going to go at a decent speed. So here we go, same as before, here is the solution. We have to first define our unknown variable. The unknown variable that we're going to, that we're going to uh, arrive at is the fact that A takes two hours less than B. So let's define how long B takes and then once we define how long B takes, it's going to be two less for A, two hours less. So let, same as before, let X be the number of hours, number of hours that B takes to walk 24 kilometers. If X represents the number of hours B takes to walk 20 km, 24 kilometers, that implies that A must take A must take two hours less. So if it's X hours for, for B, A must take X minus two hours. That's very simple, very straightforward. And once we know the number of hours for, for each of the in each of the two individuals, we know how far they're going. We can calculate the speed. So, speed of A is simply going to be he's going 24 kilometers in how many hours? In x minus two hours. B, how how far is he going? They're both going 24 kilometers. They are both going the same distance, 24 kilometers. And how long does, does B take? Well, he takes A takes two hours less, which is why it's X minus two, B takes X hours. Now let's talk about what happens when A decides to bike. 
if A decides to bike, his speed is going to be three times his previous speed. That is the speed of A. His speed is going to be three times as much. And in which case, we are told that he can he can do the job in one quarter of the time that B takes. He can finish the journey in one quarter of the amount of time that B takes. So let's do that on the top. So, here is the scenario. If B bikes, if he B bikes, then the speed of B, who was biking? A or B? If A bikes, sorry. If A bikes, then the speed of, the speed of A, when he's biking, we put down superscript bike, so the remind ourselves this is the speed of A when he's biking, is simply three times his previous speed, which is right here. 24 over x minus 2 kilometers per hour. In that case, he can finish here when he when A bikes, he can he can finish in how many hours? How many hours? We are told one quarter of the amount of time that B takes. Well, B takes X hours. If B takes X hours, this guy can finish in one quarter of the amount of time. One quarter of the amount of time, if it's X, is going to be X over four hours. In, in, he can finish in X over four hours. One more time, one more time, we have the speed. We have the hours, we know the distance, we can set up our equation as always. So the distance is going to be the speed times the time. The distance we know is 24 kilometers, that's the easy part. The speed is right here, it's three times. I'm going to erase all of this thing because it's getting too crowded, I don't like it. The speed is three times this amount. Three times 24 over x minus 2 times the time, which is x over 4. x over 4. That's it. You simply have to solve this equation for x, which is going to give you the number of hours. Uh, once we have the number of hours, I don't remember whether it was a or b, but once we have the number of hours, we can figure out their respective speeds very easily. So let's get going. The very first thing we didn't do before, just as before is that we see 24 here, we see 24 here. First of all, I'm going to erase these units here because there are no units written on this side, so there should be no units here. We have 24 here, we have 24 here, let's divide both sides of the equation by 24. This 24 is going to disappear with, with this 24, and we're going to end up with 1 on this side. That makes our life actually very simple. Let's cross multiply, it's going to be 1 times x minus 2, which is simply which is simply x minus 2. And here we have, don't forget, it's not just 3, but it's 3 times x, don't forget that. So it's 3x. You see how simple it is? Did I leave something out? Ah, I did leave something out, didn't I? I did leave something out, that's why you, you should rest. You should go slowly. I, we, we cross this 24 uh, cancelled out with this 24, it became 1. Then we cross multiply is 1 times x minus 2, but just, uh, just like I just told you, don't forget this x, I forgot the 4. That 4 will also end up here. That 4 will end up here. That's it. It's 3x, that's what it is. So it's 4x minus 8 equals 3x, bring the 3x to this side, bring the 8 to this side, and x equals 8. Voila. Now what did x represent? x represents the number of hours that b was taking to go 24 kilometers. So let's continue here. So this tells us that b takes, b takes 8 hours for 24 kilometers. But if he takes 8 hours for 24 kilometers, that implies that the speed of B must be 3 kilometers per hour. The speed of B must be 3 kilometers per hour. What about the speed of A? The speed of A is going to be, well, again, he goes 24 kilometers. And how long does it does he take? We were told that he takes, A takes, we were told, 2 hours less. So if he takes 2 hours less, this guy is taking 8 hours. X represents the amount of time B takes, A must take 6 hours, 8 minus 2 hours. 24 divided by 6 is 4 kilometers per hour. 4 kilometers per hour. That's all there is. 
the last thing I would like to I would like to do the last thing I would like to do is to verify our work and I need to raise something in order for us to do the verification and we're going to do that actually we're going to take a few extra seconds as always to make sure that our answer is correct let's verify let's verify it on the top so there is the verification So we are told that if if a bikes he goes thrice as fast. Okay, listen to me, okay? He goes thrice as fast. When we know how fast A goes, we are claiming that A goes at 4 kilometers per hour. And we want to make sure that that answer is correct. And the way we're going to make sure that this answer is correct by is by using that information here and see if it makes sense. So if he bikes, he will go thrice as fast. But he was he was walking at four kilometers per hour. If he's biking, his biking speed of a again superscript bike. The biking biking speed of a would have to be twelve kilometers per hour. He's only going twenty-four kilometers. He's only going twenty-four kilometers. That's our distance. Well, if he's only going twenty-four kilometers and he's biking at 12 kilometers per hour, that implies that he should be able to do the job in two hours. Two hours. And how long how long did B take? We were told, or not we, we were not told rather, we found we we found right here. Okay, watch listen carefully. We found that B takes eight hours. Right here, X represents X represents the amount of time that B takes. B takes eight hours. That's what we were claiming. We are claiming that B takes eight hours. And here we found out that A would take two hours if he's biking. Does it does it agree with what is what is told to, uh, what, is, what 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 we are told in the problem? The answer is it does agree because the problem tells us that if A decides to buy, he can finish the journey in one quarter of the time that B takes. One quarter of eight hours is two hours. Voila, it makes sense. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye now.